with the swans. Hi guys, Swans Away this year, back again for another video. Today I'm ranking championship mascots and as you've seen in the short introduction there, it's going to be a fun one. I, I was kind of struggling for ideas but I've kind of took this idea from Cod's Vlogs, who's a League One, and a Fleetwood Vlogger. He did the same for League One, so I'll thank Cod's Vlogs for the video idea. I'll put his link down below. Uh, he said it was okay to use the idea, so let's get into it. So starting off with Barnsley's mascot, Amos the Donkey. That's a class name, I'm not going to lie, but I'm, I'm going to put an average, it's a lot better in this video. Uh, he's a funny looking character to be fair, Amos the Donkey, that's a great name, but for Barnsley's mascot, I'm going to put an average. I, I'm just going to put an average because he doesn't look the best, you know, he not, doesn't scream out to me as war a mask, he just screams out to me as an average mascot, so sorry Amos. Next up in is Bew Brummy, I think it is. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce his name. But he's a decent looking character, I'm not going to lie. He's got like a yellow head, uh, two like brown ears coming off. Uh, he's a photo, I'm looking at on my computer, but they have him playing the guitar, well, trying to play the guitar with a corner flag. So he seems a good character. I'm going to put him in good because he seems a good old laugh. And <laughs> a picture of him up on screen now of uh, doing the guitar, that's brilliant. So, uh, to that uh, Brummy, Bill Brummy, I think it is, you're going in good. For Blackburn Rovers, then Roar the Lion. It's, it's a decent name, to be fair, but my word, this is probably the scariest mascot in the league. He is very scary. And for kids who usually have the photos with these mascots and young children, I'd be scared if I was a, a young person looking at this mascot because he is scary. And for that reason, I'm going to put him in very strange because, um, <laughs> because he, he just looks scary. He looks really, really um worrying it's, it's a really strange choice from blackburn so if i was a uh, executive in blackburn rovers first thing i'll be doing that blackburn is changing the mascot because my word put a smile in your face next up is brentford's busby not the best name to be honest it's pretty plain but like i said he's a, he's a scary looking guy he's same as that blackburn's mascot but at least he's put a smile on his face he's got a bit of a smile and for that reason i'm from average just because he's got a bit of a smile on his face and Roar the Lion could be doing something like that, putting a smile on his face. Scrumpy the Robin next. Some of these names are absolutely brilliant. As you can tell, the Bristol City mascot. And I think, like me, he's had one too many pies. I'm not going to lie, he's uh, quite a big character. But <laughs> I'm going to probably be very strange. But it's like he's got a massive carrot nose. He's got a hat. He, it's, like, it's like a cheap version. It's a very cheap version. But I think Bristol City have put much money into their mascot. But... <laughs> I just can't stop laughing because he's got a massive carrot nose. That's brilliant, but very strange because he just looks really cheap. Barty Bluebird is next. Obviously, a Cardiff City mascot. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, he's a very another dodgy looking character. He's got like a really beaky mouth. His eyes are like all squinty close together. Obviously, gonna be a bit biased because you know Swans and all that. But you know, doesn't look appetizing to me in a South Wales derby. He's running down the touchline thinking he was like a linesman sit down you absolute muppet but i'm gonna put him in there not gonna put him bomb because that'd be a bit too harsh but you know i'm not gonna like him anyway am i but charlton and it's floyd and harvey quite a, not the best name in the world but who cares about that um i like it i really do like it he looks pretty good to be honest um again his face is pretty funny um much much more appealing to me than blackburn rovers his mascot definitely but i think at all 23 he is better than that but Looks pretty good, I'm not going to lie, yeah, so he's going in the good category, looks a good old laugh. For Derby County, it's Rami and Iwi, I like these, the, the ears are brilliant, it's like really curly, I like, it looks like a bit of a snake to be honest, and for Derby County, they could have Gary Rowett or something like that on the uh, ears, but no, I really like it, it's going to go for good category for me, like I said, the ears are really appealing to me, and it's not, doesn't, it's not like... What I'm trying to say is it's like not too out there, so yeah, they haven't gone overboard. It's pretty simple, it's just a head, you know. You love to see it. For Fulham, we got Billy the Badger, and unfortunately, Billy, you're going straight into the average category because there's nothing about this mascot which screams good or bad. It's just plain and simply average. It's just it's just a normal mascot, it's got nothing too appealing on it. It's literally a badger. <laughs> That's it. 
some of these names are absolutely brilliant. And going on the elite list, the first mascot which is going on the list is Huddersfield Town, Terry the Terrier. What a simple but great name that is, Terry the Terrier. Absolutely love that. There's a photo of him sitting down by the corner flag. I think Huddersfield were losing or something like that. It's absolutely brilliant. He's got some good features on it as well. He's got a lot of hair, obviously, for a terrier and a dog. Um, really like it. Pretty simple, but it's unique, and that's going straight up to the elite category, in my opinion. For Hull City, it's Rory the Tiger. I uh, don't really know what to say about this one, to be honest. He's, again, not more appealing. He looks a bit scary. He, obviously, he's supposed to look like a tiger, but just just looks a bit... I don't know. It just doesn't really appeal to me, I'm not going to lie. Um, his eyes are, like, again, really down. They should be up. Bit of a smile. But I don't know who creates these mascots. So they supposed to be a clown, a clown, or the cl is a clown making these or something? Because they are very, they are not appetising at all. Um, yeah. So Hal is going in the mayor category for me. Up next we got Lucas the Cop Cat Leeds United mascot again. Going in the mayor category. He's got too many dots in the head in my opinion. Um, the ears are like up there. Put should put him out there. But yeah, mayor category, not my cup of tea. This one is absolutely brilliant. Harry the Hatter, elite cat, goes straight away. He's definitely going. Out of the 24 championship clubs, this one's the best one. I absolutely love it. He's got like a really, new, he's like a human being face. He's got a hat on for the actors. I love it. Years, there's a football picture of him holding a football, kicking it around. He winds the opposition fans up. It's absolutely brilliant. It's similar to Watford's one where they wind the opposition fans up. Ha Harry's clearly doing this as well. Absolutely love it. The face is just brilliant with the hat. Superb. Luton Town take a bow. Absolutely brilliant. Next up is Rory the Lion. Don't really understand the name. I, I swear there was another one. I think Blackwings was called that as well. But um, going in the average category for me doesn't really appeal to me. His head's a bit large and his mouth's like down there. So... It's just a bit strange to be honest, so average just doesn't again appeal to me. Next up is Zamba the Lion. Now, if you didn't know, guys, Zamba the Lion and Cyril the Swan, our mascot, had a famous scrap of the Vitch Field. I'll show you the video later on in the video when I got on the Swans. It's about a minute long, so make sure you watch that because it's absolutely brilliant. And that's what Cyril was on about in the intro. Uh, don't mess with the Swans. I'm going to put in good, though. It's pretty appetizing. It's got like a lion on it. It's pretty good. And obviously, they mank dicks with uh, the Cyril. Go up there, so straight to good for me. Nottingham Forest is mascot now. And if I had to rank the worst mascot in the division it would go to Nottingham Forest it's Robin Hood obviously with Nottingham and the famous tradition about that but it's really it's really dodgy it just looks really strange it's it's just just not normal his, his head's like they've tried making him look like a human but they've gone totally wrong um, it's just really awful if I was uh, in the family stand or something if I was younger and I saw that I'd probably cry and run off because it's absolutely appalling from Nottingham Forest he did quit or something the mascot quit or something so they changed the mascot they've brought it back just get rid of it Nottingham Forest is dreadful next up is Deepdale Duck uh, it's a very strange luck looking duck in my opinion um, I don't think he even has eyes. His eyes are like really small or his eyeballs really small. It's going in the mayor cat because it doesn't look like he's got eyes and it just looks really strange. Chewed the cat, absolutely love that name. It's again pretty simple. He's got a black face with two eyes again and it's got like two teeth. I really like that and there's a photo of him with a cap on as well. Brilliant. It's going to go in good though. It's close to going in elite but you know, after January and him winding me up, I'm sorry, uh, Chewed the cat. We're going to have to talk about that next time we go to the uh, Key and Prince Foundation Stadium. But yeah, it's really good. Next up for Reddings, Kingsley Royal. Now, this is a weird one in my opinion because, again, it doesn't have many too good features on it. doesn't have too many bad features. It's just an average-looking mascot. You know, you'd like your child to have a photo of it. It's not too suspicious. <coughs> Blackburn, for, for Nottingham Forest, you're up there for that as well. But no, Redding and Prince Average is all right. Aussie Owl next. I kind of like this, I'm not going to lie to you. It's got like a really beak and the other person's got like a Mohican. There's, we've got two mascots, I assume one's a man and one's a woman. I really like it. It's going in good just because the Mohawk is it's exceptional. I'm not going to lie to you. Dork City, what on earth is this? It, the mascot's name is Potamus. It's obviously supposed to look like a hippopotamus, but oh, it's just shocking, isn't it? It's just absolutely shocking. I know sort of got links with hippopotamus or something like that 
But my word, it's just really strange, isn't it? Imagine going to a game, you know, Stoke City against Port Vale, you know, their derby, and you see, and Port Vale fancy Port must come up the tunnel. You know, I just laugh. It's absolutely shocking. But if you don't laugh, it, it, it's just a joke, really. Um, it's probably, it, Stoke fans really love it, but it's not my cup of tea. Uh, it's going straight into a very strange category. I've got a clap for Cyril Lasson. Guys, the video I'm going to show you is absolutely brilliant. Watch this. Be so kind uh, to tell us a story about the clash you had with the mascot of Millwall. Who was that? Zampa the Lion? What happened? Yeah, I remember his name. It's been funny. <laughs> yeah, Zampa the Lion. Uh, I was warned by the club to uh, behave myself. Well, I always behave myself. The everyone's wind me up, as you know. Right. And uh, so he came down one day, came on the ground half time. He started calling me this and that, and he said, listen, no, I've been told i got to behave, so shut up, or it's going to kick off, innit? Right. He kept going, he kept going. I beat him in penalties, fair and square, 3-0, then he jumped on my back, he tried pulling my head off. So I just showed him that no one comes down our territory a mess with the swans. So what, what did you say? What did you tell him? I got the beep machine on. <laughs> what did you tell him? Don't f*** with the swans. That's absolutely brilliant, guys. Cyril the Swan, as he, say, as he literally says, don't with the Swans, you know. It is fight with the... Uh, if you want to see it, just t type in uh, on YouTube, Swansea's fight with Millwall's mascot. It's brilliant. I got told to behave, and in five minutes later, that's how it's scrapping. It's going straight up into elite for me. I know I'm a Swans fan. Call me biased, don't really care. It's brilliant. You know, the Swan, you got Cyril and Sybil. Um, obviously, one a boy and one's a girl. I really like it, obviously, like I said, bias, I don't really care, it's my channel, if you want to do your own, then do what you want, but I love it, that fight with the Millwall uh, mascot, superb. Next up is West Bromwich Albion, now my word, what are they playing at? It's just a plain boiler, there's nothing about it, it's just a white boiler, and that's it, Re very strange, literally very strange, that's going straight into the very strange category, absolutely appalling, whether their marketing team is, they need to get sacked. Wigan Athletic, you need to take a bow. I absolutely love this. Their mascot is a pie. It's a pie. It's absolutely brilliant. This video has been super. I've seen some brilliant, some seen some brilliant uh, animations of mascots and stuff like that. But this one's brilliant. It's just a massive round pie. Wigan, obviously, are known for pies and stuff like that. Um, try one in the way end if you ever go to Wigan. But my word, their mascot, absolutely love it. Take a bow, Wigan. So thanks guys for watching this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below your favourite mascot apart from your club, you're not allowed to say for your club. In my opinion, the best mascot has got to be Luton. I absolutely love it, but the hard Wigan comes close, so let me know guys down below who's your favourite mascot. Don't vote for your club, obviously. Also, hopefully you found that Swans video quite funny. Um, I laughed, and it's obviously, don't think our Cyril does that anymore, because he's child friendly now. But no, thanks guys anyway. Content's going to be every Monday and Thursday until the season comes back. It's going to be quite a while for the season to come back anyway. They're talking about 6th of June, but it's going to be behind closed doors. So maybe I can do some live streams if the games are available to watch. But hopefully all you guys are staying in safe and following the government guidelines. Hopefully this will soon be sorted as we can have a normal lives back. But all you guys can do for me is leave a like. Let's see how many likes we can get in this video. Subscribe and stuff like that. Because obviously content, you know... I'm ranking mascots for God's sake. You know, it's not the best content in the world, but it's a laugh. So if you did enjoy, leave a like, and I'll see you guys next Monday. I feel